Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So everyone is going completely nuts for this smoky nail effect and it's all done with gel polish and pigments. So you can use it on natural nails, on top of acrylics, anything. It's really quick and easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'll just leave that one there. I've already um, had my practice tip on my gel stirrer. And I've done two coats of Halo gel polish from the nail team in black. And then I've top coated with a non-white top coat. So first of all, you're going to need a white gel polish that leaves a tacky layer. So you can't use something like Royal Gel from Crystal Nails or anything like that. You need a gel polish. So I'm going to be using my Crystal Nails 3-step one and I've just put it onto the back of a little triangle dish. I'm also going to be using my Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush. This one is for my gel work, because um, you clean it a little bit differently, so I'd like to keep them separate. And my um, NSI Cleanse, but I put it into this little uh, container here to make it easier, so just get that ready. And of course, I'm using Nail Team Neon Pigments. These are amazing and they are so great for the summer, creating rainbow nails, unicorn nails, you name it, you can make it with it. It is so good. So I'm just going to copy exactly what I've done with the other one. So I'll be using the pink neon pigment. And up. It doesn't come in a stacker jar like this, I've just put it in a stacker jar because I've got some fussy clients who likes it in a rainbow order when they want their rainbow now. So I've just stacked it in a certain way so that I don't ever mess up the order of the rainbow. So that's those two there. It is so simple. So yeah, as I said, done two coats of the black halo gel polish and then a non-white top coat. So now I'm just going into my white gel polish and I'm just scrubbing it. As you can see, like I'm really being quite messy with it. And just sort of doing it in like a squiggly smoke motion. If you think of a cigarette or a smoke, it normally starts off quite small and then puffs out at the top like this does. So that's the sort of look I'm going for. So that's it then. I'm just going to clean the excess off of my brush with a bit of gel cleanse and on a lint free wipe. Now I'm going into my cleanse and leaving it on the brush. I don't know if you can see there but it's quite moist. And just going in and taking away some of the excess white. The technique that you want to use when you're doing this is just you want to leave some denser white parts like here and then you want to leave some more um, see-through parts here because when the pigment goes on top you want to have that sort of misty look you don't want to just leave it all in a block of white otherwise you won't get that smoky look that you're after so I'm just gonna go down here take some more away Okay, so now I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna place that in my lamp for a full cure. Okay, so now that is fully cured, I'm ready to go on with my pigments. So always starting at the bottom, I'm gonna just use a soft fluffy makeup brush and just tap that into that sticky layer. Now with the blue. Now you can see all the excess pigment, you just need to brush that all away. I'm being quite firm with my brush because I want it to really get stuck in that gel 
and all the excess off of the black as well. Okay, so now that's all on that gel polish, I'm just going to get a top coat. Um, I'm just going to use my Perfect Nails Flexi Top Gloss. I don't like to use my most favourite one on practice tips because it feels like it's just a waste. So then, I don't know if you can see, but my brush isn't actually touching the nail. It's literally, I'm just blobbing on the top coat at the top and then feathering it down the nail. Not dragging or pressing hard on my brush because I want a nice decent coat on and I don't want to drag the design away at all or get it stuck in my gel polish brush. I will set that in the lamp but that is literally it and you're finished. You don't have to do it with pigments, um, obviously it's better if you do because they're they're highly pigmented because they're just raw pigment um, but you can use acrylic colours um, as well and you can try and change it up a little bit you don't even have to do smoke you could do many designs so that's those nails done I hope you like it and found it useful if you want me to do some more of these videos please give me a thumbs up and um, if you haven't already um, liked the channel please do and press the bell so then you'll be notified when I upload one of my videos and I hope to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye!